angels welcome back to my channel again in this video we're gonna see the making of chendol the green jelly this is the chendol itself and I am that's a very good dessert yeah I like it yeah. Chendol. Chendol. Yeah. but um, I want to make video so here we'll see how the process of making chendol which is first to choose the block of ice and then placing it on a ice shaving machine and then the ice is shaven meanwhile if you are new to my channel click subscribe right now my name is Sandra I'm a traveler storyteller and a big foodie once shaven, it is then scooped into a bowl. This is just getting another bowl because we ordered two chandles. So the very first ingredient is the brown sugar which goes on top of this shaven ice once that's done he scoops out one spoonful of kidney beans of course the main ingredient which is chendol itself which is this green jelly what will chendol be without chendol itself right and last but not least a full scoop of coconut milk oh god this is so luxurious So today I'm with Mo. Hi Mo. Hi. Hi. Mo is from Yemen. His first time he's going to try chendol. Yes. The, yes. One of the staples in Malaysia. Are you yeah. excited? I'm so excited Very for excited. him because Very I remember excited. eating this and then I posted this on Instagram and he Yeah, really that was the to... first time yeah, I saw it. Yeah. Yes. I was like, I need to try this. Yes. Yeah. So are you excited now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You can see it's maybe it makes it more, it could be sweet, makes it a little bit more. Yeah, the chendol is actually the green thing, it's basically ah, pandan, yeah. pandan jelly. Yeah, yeah. What, what is that? That's, That's just the ice. Ice. Yeah. 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 yeah, okay. Looks interesting. Let's go first. Interesting. Oh, he's gonna try. <laughs> I feel like a food critic. Yes. Okay, first scope and uh, expression. It's, it's very, very rich. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very rich. Very sweet, but not too sweet. Yeah. So I like it. It's uh, with coconut milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can feel the coconut taste like yeah. very strong, but very nice. And try the jelly itself, the chendol jelly. The jelly is made from pandan. Pandan is like uh, a flavored leaf. You know, right? Yeah. Pandan leaf. Have yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like vanilla, but we uh, use pandan in Southeast Asia. That's a very good dessert. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. It's really wow. rich. It's like almost like a meal because of the coconut milk. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I like how how sweet it is, you know. It's not Yeah, yeah at the same time it's light, light yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, like not too sweet, but yeah. like just the right sweet. And it's like fresh because it's cold. The ice makes yeah, it fresh. Yeah, the ice is yeah. shaven fresh. I like it. So back back in the days, they use uh, a sharp knife made into stuck into into like a wooden block, and then they shave it. Now it's uh, everything is machine, so yeah, it's automated. Yeah, it, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. yeah, but even in the machine, the shape was interesting. Like, yeah, the shape you know, is very yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah like a fountain. I guess like the machine comes from China because they like now it's like mass production. They make it. Yeah. So. Cool! I I'm like so it. excited for more to try chendol. <sighs> One of the things I miss most in Malaysia is chendol. Yeah. It makes it so much fun. And I can't believe I haven't tried it since now. You yeah. Know? Like, they, never tried it before. Yeah. It's just the first time. I think so. they have also chendol in uh, Indonesia. But it's a little bit different. It's more of a drink. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's more like a dish itself. Yeah. I tried chendol in Indonesia, but it's a little bit different. What, more watery. Yeah. It's more watery. And but so, I like it. Yeah. yeah. I'm, this is not going to be the last time for sure. Is it one of your favorite now? Yeah, yeah, one. <laughs> one of your it's, favorite. It's, it's, it's going to be in the list now. Yeah. <laughs> wow! So my angels, this is another close-up of Chendo where you have the kidney beans and then the green jelly. They are actually made from fragrant pandan leaves. So you mix it all together with the coconut milk and brown sugar. Oh my god, it's so luxurious because pandan and coconut milk, they get along so well. And this is a must-try dish if you come to Malaysia. You know? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It just makes you happy. You know? Yeah, exactly. So. What's one of your happiness food? Uh, Monday. Yeah. <laughs> Monday, sure. Monday. Yeah. Monday is amazing. Uh, I love Monday. Yeah. For dinner, I like kebab. Kebab, okay. Mm. Hummus. hummus, hummus, yeah. Yeah. But for Malaysian food. For Malaysian food, I like, yeah, I like the naan, tandoori, okay. roti chanai, tetarek. Tetarek, yeah. I love it. Okay. Cool. Have you seen people pooling it? Have you seen yeah. it? Yeah, I've seen <laughs> it. Yeah. Yeah. That was interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The roadside chendo is it? It's also fun when you go to the roadside. They have. Have you tried any? It's in a truck, and then they have a roja that goes with. Um, After this, maybe I'll try because yeah. before you know when you don't know something, mm. you just pass by it. You don't. You don't know. So yeah. most people they pair it that roja thing that one with chendo. They pair it. So it all becomes sweet or like? No, you eat it with this. So that one is savory. This is wow. dessert. Yeah, it's sweet. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it becomes it's the same. It's a good pair. Meal. The roja yeah. and chendol is like a pairing. Yeah. But the roadside one, I will ask for extra sugar. <laughs> <laughs> What about this? The sweetness this is good is, for you? Uh, or like yeah, this is just nice. Medium sweet. It's only because I don't want it too sweet. But I used to have it much sweeter. Mm. Nowadays, because everything is sweet, so I just. Yeah. <laughs> no, but for me, the sweetness is just perfect. Like, just nice, yeah. Yeah, if it's more, it's gonna be too sweet, less, mm. not. Thank you for introducing me to this. Yeah, yeah anytime. I, I was in this. Yeah, a lot of travelers, they love Chendo. In Malaysia, we have so many food. Whatever you eat today, you won't eat the next day. Mm. Because so many options. So many options, yeah. That's one thing I miss in Malaysia because the options of food. Yeah. Like you go to certain country, they only have Maybe five or six types of food, you know, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because, you know, this, I've been here four years. Yeah. First time I, I, I tried this. I've been seeing it, but I wasn't, yeah. like, encouraged enough to try it. Yeah. Until you told me about it, and then yeah, yeah, I saw yeah. you... saw the video. <laughs> yeah, I saw the video, and you explained, like, brown sugar, yeah. uh, coconut milk. Yeah. And it's like, mm -hmm. that's interesting. Because before that, I just see the name, you know, Chingo. Yeah. 
so Mo and I we are moving to this background because the background is so nice so and also video we need to speak loudly okay let's take a seat there we go so now have a scoop with the kidney beans so try to find the beans yeah. inside yes so yeah, have a go beans. go with the kidney beans it works it works right it, it goes well <laughs> yeah yeah i wasn't expecting it to work yeah. before because that's what it's i was telling you sweet texture so mm. yeah In case you guys don't know, Mo is from Yemen. He's Yemeni country, also with a lot of food like mandi, kapsa, yeah, uh, yeah uh, I love Yemeni food. Mm -hmm. I've had Yemeni food. I survived with Yemeni food in Sudan, by the way, because in Sudan they didn't have food, <laughs> only beans. So I had to go to Yemeni restaurant to save my life at some point. Uh, I was cooking too. Yeah. It was hard. So in Sudan, I had to. I went to Yemeni restaurant twice to have yeah. a mandi. Yemeni restaurants are everywhere. They're everywhere. <laughs> everywhere you would yeah. find some Yemeni restaurants. Uh, recently, somewhere. but in Sudan, back in the days, they didn't have Yemeni restaurant. Really? But now they start having. And it's much better than Syrian for me because the kebab, uh, the shawarma is not enough. You need rice at some yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're a traveler and you're backpacking, yeah. at some point, you need rice. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the story, yeah. So, okay. So basically, kidney beans. You see the kidney beans? Yeah. Wow. So good. It's one of my happy food, chendol. Yeah. Now I'm thinking like, Am I going to finish this? That's it's a like, lot, right? That's a lot, you know? Yeah, at first I wanted to share one with you. Then I thought, no, it's so mm. good, let me have one. But now it's no, feeling it's, like... It's like, it's like, I didn't expect it to be this. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's quite a big portion. But we should both have the roja. Shall we? Which roja? The roja, the one that... The, the, the... Ah, the other option. Yeah, that goes with the chendol. Do you want to do that? Are you open to that? What's that? Especially fried huh? fritters, yeah. like prawn fritters, uh, and uh, cucumber, um, and some vegetables with boiled egg, and poured over with peanut sauce. Yeah, and it's a snack, so we can share one. Shall we? Are you open? After this, I'm not sure. <laughs> no, it's together because the chendol goes together with the roja. Let's do it. I can help you finish. Okay, one for me and you. Yeah, for one for, for, for okay. both of us. All okay, right. so we're gonna we're gonna have the roja with All the right. chendol. Let's do it. Let's she do convinced it. me. <laughs> <laughs> let's go do it. Okay. Now, what is this mango? Oh, mango. Mango. Pineapple. Okay. And then some corn. Some corn. Some corn. Like another type of vegetables. And then. And this is the tofu, fried tofu, yes. And this is the roja sauce. And not so spicy, yeah. Yes, no spicy, no spicy. Too spicy? No. Uh, yeah. No spicy. No spicy. Uh. Yeah, no spicy. Oh, no. Wait, can it maybe reduce? Uh, yes, yeah. So I kept telling him no spicy but the stuff kept putting in chili and the second time here he wanted to put the chili again and we had to stop him and here we go so you actually mix all the fruits into this roja sauce and uh, yeah I wanted to try it without the chili or the spiciness so that we know what the actual authentic flavor of the roja sauce so 
ground peanut is the garnishing here Excited. I have convinced him to try Roja with the chendo. I'm worried how it's gonna taste with this yeah. sauce, but I'll try it. It's not you. spicy, it's peanut sauce, it's a Roja sauce. It's very prawny, shrimpy. Yeah, not spicy. Bad. No, no, not spicy. Yeah. Maybe try the mm. top or oh, pineapple, yes. Mm. Interesting with the sauce. Yeah. It changes the whole, you know? Yeah. The whole taste becomes different. But still there. Yeah. The sauce is more umami kind of. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, they just cannot handle they're not um I'm not sure. They lose patience because they love food too much and they want to eat so they can't wait. They don't want to be disturbed. Yeah, and when when I'm still talking they're like they want to eat, like you know, they're upset kind of. <laughs> but they're really nice people. They love to try yeah, new yeah, food yeah. and Okay, I'm okay with it. Yeah, it's hard to find people like that. I did find, but they, they leave. They leave. They go to another country. Mm. Start backpacking. And yeah. So. Between this and this. Yeah. I choose this. Yeah. Because it's too different. It's supposed to be together. Yeah. So any place where they sell this, they will have this. Mm. Yeah. No, but I like the chindo more. Oh. Yeah. You think it compliments? Not really. No. For me. <laughs> For me. This maybe is with, I don't know, rice. Oh. Rice and chicken, and then you add this, maybe. Oh, like a salad. Yeah, like a salad. That's and then nice. later this, okay. like, as a dessert. Like a dessert, yeah. But mm. that will be one big meal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a big meal, yeah. Mm. I'm just excited that um, Mo is trying to handle so he feels the rojak more like a salad. Yeah, it could be actually, it could be actually. But it has some sweet touch. It has sugar in the sauce as well. Yeah, there is. Um, so the person was asking, yeah. um, what is Instagram etiquette? Oh. See, someone was asking that. Like, what is Instagram etiquette? Like, I'm creating a new Instagram account but I want to not look bad, you know? He was asking that. And the interesting thing, one of the answers was like, just be yourself, dude. Uh -huh. You yeah, know? Like, exactly. like, it's your account, right? Yeah. Like, it's your account. Yeah. You don't have to think, oh, how to impress other people. Yeah, how to just impress. be yourself. Yes. And it's gonna turn out fine. And even if some people are not that impressed by it, mm -hmm. at least you're enjoying it. You're doing it because you like it. You and know? there will like be some people who will like your authentic self. Yes, exactly. Always. There's always people. Exactly. And yeah. it's better to attract those people. Those authentic people. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's better to attract those people than the shallow people. Or yeah. at least people who can connect with you. Yeah. So if you do something that is a bit like, you know, fake, Yes, exactly. You will attract, you know, the some fake people, people yeah. or fake followers. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or people who don't like you for who you actually are. Exactly. Yeah. 
so, so that's the thing that's the thing with my so video that, is passion i have yeah. deep passion because having traveled so many countries but i didn't know video editing but i have so much content and i'm doing it because to help other travelers i really want to help like try chendo try this what i eat yeah. in different countries yeah. meeting different people yeah. like today i meet you from yaman and we know about your food yeah mandi uh you know lamb honey you know, all this kind of things yeah. cool yeah. so i'm not there really for followers so, but i want authentic people who really like me so i don't care what i wear or that i have makeup or not but yeah. you know Yeah, it's, I'm just excited to meet travelers. Yeah, yeah just be you. Yeah, you know? just be yourself. That's, exactly. That's what matters. Yeah. Because that's the only way you're gonna enjoy it. If you try to, you know, do something that's not you, exactly. maybe you can do it in the beginning. But after some time, you will be bored with it, or you'll be like, yeah, um, you'll you be like, you don't, you don't, you don't find yourself anymore in it. You know? Yeah, that's so. true. I agree. So my issue was just. Uh, I was really sad because I didn't know video editing. I don't know video editing. I'm not a video editor. <laughs> I'm more of a director kind of thing and sharing ideas. So that was, that's why I was a bit sad that I couldn't do it. But it happened only recently. So oh well, I guess everything have timing. So. Yeah, and you don't have to like. Link yourself or connect yourself with other people's expectations. Exactly, that's the yeah. thing. I was telling him earlier, but it was not on the video. That people I ask for help with video editing always telling me that my video is shaky, the sound is not clear, you need a better camera. But that's that's not what my content is about. My content is about value. It's not so, about the flashy side. It's not the flashy side. Yeah. Yeah, so I not that I'm wearing some special clothes or you know or I am like flashing my you know myself or having expensive camera or you know and you know tools to edit no. I I want to give what is real. That's that's the thing. Yeah. That's the best way. Yeah. That's the exactly. best way. So yeah, a bit late after being in so many countries. Yeah, because some of the thing that I miss, like places like Sudan and Egypt, I made so many videos. But maybe I can turn it into shorts. I don't know because yeah, I can. didn't do it this way. I recorded this way. Ah, okay. So it's not this way as per. Uh, yeah. Know. So maybe I can do shorts. I don't know. I still have all the videos. You Let me know in comment section if you guys are interested to see my Egypt or Sudan videos. Yeah. <laughs> You can do. <laughs> yeah. You can do. Yeah. So Mo is nice. He's always puts a smile on my face. Like, yeah, he's got like a positive outlook. Yeah. Thank so you. we're gonna continue our Chendo day. Two hours later, after roaming around the bookshop looking for self-help book, we had some bomb food, Maggie Goring, tandoori chicken, and cheese naan before we headed home. And I said goodbye to my friend. Thank you for watching, guys. Love ya.